In this video, I'll show you how to enable the LDAC or LDAC codec. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but this is the better audio codec, much higher quality for Bluetooth connection, and the sound will be just like using a wired connection, and for me at least I can't really tell the difference. You need to have you need to have compatible headphones or external audio device. These are the Sony These are the these are the really these are the high-end headphones. These are the high-end these are the high-end noise cancelling headphones from Sony, the Sony XM5. So far this is the current generation. Very, very really well made. The soft cushioning here is really very soft and it didn't wear out at all. I really use them a lot. And uh, sound from them, the noise cancelling is amazing for airplane for the flights in the plane it's really amazing and there was an update with the phone and headphones at the beginning i couldn't use the ldac or ldac and eventually i could use it or maybe i didn't know how to use it i'll show you how to how to do that first you have to enable the developer options first you have to enable the developer options in your android phone and to do that you go to the about section on your phone and press uh, build number five to seven times it will show you i have other videos to show you that i'm not going to go in details for this once you enable developer options on your phone you go into settings so in settings here once you enable the developer options on your android phone you open the settings up and search for developer So you will see here developer options. You can go to the menus, but I show you to search. To search is much much faster. I believe it's uh, easier to. If you use the search, it's much faster to get to the point, and you don't have to. Using the search is much faster to get to the developer options, I believe, and you don't have to go to the menus. Also, this will work on other phones. It's going to be the same, really, the same process. Uh, maybe a little bit different for from locations of some things might be a little bit different So in developer options here you First I want to show you how it's not going to work because the phone the headphones are not connected now and I have the Bluetooth the Bluetooth is enabled. So that's That's important. I have the Bluetooth enabled and But the phone the headphones are off now so scroll down to Bluetooth audio codec here and you will see the grayed out the grayed out uh, items here are not supported by the phone and the device connected. So system default now this is the only option and you see the LDAC LDAC how you call it write the comment section write the comment below how you actually are supposed to call this LDAC DAC is a digital to analog converter and there are digital to analog and analog to digital converters, so it goes both ways. The digital to analog means it takes the signal from the phone, digital signal, converts it into a signal that can be played to the speakers on the headphones to go into your ears and you listen to music or movies or the videos, whatever you watch. Okay, so now it's not available, this option. And... I will show you, actually I have it, uh, It's I already selected it, as soon as I could do it, I did it. So power on the headphones. Okay, so power on the headphones. It's going to connect. Okay, now it's connected, the headphones are connected to the phone. And... I think it's trying to do an update now on the headphones. Even better, okay. So these are the WH-1000XM5. And as you see, already the connection is 
set to LDAC. There is the app for it. They have the they have a lot of settings here and it's really it's very very well made actually it it's very intuitive i believe the the settings the settings for it pretty easy the noise cancelling feature is the highlight of this and the sound quality also the previous model i didn't like the sound it was too muffled now this is more clear i like this more i got them together as a bundle with my sony xperia phone so that was even better I would say it, they were free, but not really because I paid for them together as one package. So now, once the, when the headphones are connected and they are compatible with LDAC, you have Bluetooth audio codec, it's already enabled. For some reason, if you didn't have the LDAC option enabled here, you could enable it here. And also there is the option to do it from the Bluetooth device settings. So I'm on the Bluetooth devices here and that's the headphones. These, these headphones, they have a lot of options here. Other headphones will have different options and HD audio LDAC and I could disable it. So now if I go into Bluetooth audio codec, you will see it's different. It's even not available here. So this, I show you the developer options for other models because you might not be able to you might not be able to change the setting from the bluetooth options of your device but it's good to know how to do it from uh, everywhere and the playback quality sound quality preferred you might have a skipping sometimes if the headphones are a bit far or if the headphone when, I, when the phone was in the back pocket of my jeans or in the front pocket, sometimes it would skip, especially when I was in the airport and it was a lot of, there were a lot of devices around, a lot of people. Uh, in this case, it was useful to have the phone in a, in a crossbody bag somewhere around the chest, around the belly, belly area. So on the waist area, it was more uh, close and they weren't, uh, there were no skipping. So, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. You, you really could enable it from Bluetooth. You could enable it from the Bluetooth settings, LDAC, or from the developer options from here. Now when I choose it, it will show again because I re-enabled it. Or from the software of the headphones themselves. Every headphones, they will have some kind of software where they will show you something, some options there. So that's it. Now it's going to start the update, so I might as well start this update. This is the update. It sends wirelessly to the headphones some... I don't know exactly what this update is about, but like this, I was able to play LDAC audio instead of AAC, how it was before. Thanks for watching. Let's try this. Can you still use them? Well... No. So while while updating, you cannot use the while they're updating, you can't use the headphones to actually play music. So it makes sense to keep them keep them from breaking the headphones. I really want to have these headphones using the LED is blinking. Thanks for watching.